Okay, here is the last kind of problem. This is the second example that we did in class today, and this is what I would call the, we're solving with the more than information. Um, I already drew out the tape diagram, I'll go over that real quick, but um, this is just a story building on the last one, and what else? Yes, so here we go. Um, real quick. Okay, so in this kind of problem, it, the information that they're giving us is I made this because I was told for every 14 non-commercial vehicles, there were five commercial vehicles. So we've got 14 for non-commercial vehicles and five for the commercial vehicles. We talked about that a little bit in class. We also talked about, that's what I was thinking of, I forgot, is that the, this is a little bit different than the ones with individual boxes, you know, individual boxes, like if I had drawn them out like that. And they mean the same exact thing, but they will probably see them if they look online or anything. They'll see them both ways. So I've been drawing them both ways, and I see everyone in class doing a variety of things, but all variations of that. And the other info I'm told is, um, if there were 108 more non-commercial vehicles than commercial vehicles. So this problem is different than the others because the, we have this ratio information, but that other bit of information, if there were 108 more, well, that's not telling us how many commercial vehicles there are. It's not giving us the total of commercial vehicles. It's not giving us the total of the um, non-commercial vehicles. And it's not giving us the total of all the vehicles either. What it's giving us is how many more this one is than this one. So usually what I try and help them see is, you know, up until this point, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, up until right here, they're the same amount. So anything out here, all of this, all of this represents the extra non-commercial vehicles or the more non, I, I say extra and more depending on the problem. This would represent this one, you know, it's the, there's more non-commercial vehicles. So all of this right here. And it tells us if there were 108 more. So that is showing us that all this stuff out here, that is the 108 more. And so when we're using this, we need to take this number and the total of the more, and we need to divide it by, you know, how many little sections of more that we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five by nine is 12, okay? And that's showing us that in these groups right here, we have, you know, 12 in each one, 12, 12, all across, and then 12, 12, all the way across, okay? You know, it, that continues on. And so now, once we've figured that out based off of what's more, then we can figure out the total of the non-commercial and the commercial vehicles, because we can add them up. So this would be 12 times five, so 60. And then this would be up here, all of this, the non-commercial vehicles. That's right, commercial. And then all of this would rep be represented by 12 times, and there are 14. The, the nine we figured out from earlier, plus these additional five. So 14, and that's going to give us 168. 68 non-commercial vehicles. So this is a final kind, and in general, when you're solving these problems, you're either, they're, they're giving you a few bits of information. It's usually one of three things that we've covered so far. They're either gonna tell you the total of, you know, one of the pieces, you know, let's say that this is 50. This is not for this problem anymore, this is just for all of them in general. Um, they're either gonna give you one of the chunks of information and that total where you can divide it. They're gonna tell you the 
total of everything, and then you can take all the pieces and divide it by that total. That was in like the last example. Or they're only going to give you the info for that whatever's extra or the more, and then you have to take those pieces and divide it. So really, it's the same process for every single one. It just the hard part is really comprehension and determining what are we trying to divide it by the the part the more or everything hope that helps